Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Veronica Brandon Miller and this is Goodwill Minnesota's Tell Me Something Good, the show that shares the good that's happening in our community. And we are thrilled that you tuned in and don't forget at 11 o'clock today you can continue to hear good things on WSRQ Radio. Again at 11 o'clock we continue this conversation but also Check out your latest issue of Suncoast Living Magazine, which also will feature everything we've talked about on Tell Me Something Good and even more. And now let's dive right in to our wonderful program. We have fantastic people today who are going to talk about the Grace Project. The Grace Project was spearheaded by this fabulous gentleman mm -hmm. to my right, left, whatever <laughs> the TV is, <laughs> uh, Maverick Johnson from 92.1. And also, we're going to talk about how Laura Martin from Nuovo is part of this entire project. So why don't we start with you, Maverick? How did Grace come to be? You know, um, it began. my relationship began with Goodwill. I'm an ambassador for Goodwill, and yeah, people will ask, well, what does an ambassador do? And basically what an ambassador does for Goodwill is they go out and they just try to represent Goodwill and let people know about the things that Goodwill does. And a lot of people don't know about all the great things you do. And one of the things that Goodwill does is they have the job connections. And you help people, and it's free of charge, help build resumes, help with job skills, help with interviewing skills, and a lot of those things and I was reading a story last year, it was in the spring or early summer last year, and it was a salon in the Tampa area, and they were doing uh, makeovers for homeless people or people in transition in housing. And I thought, this is something we could do here and pair it with goodwill and get people back to work. You know, a lot of times the barriers to employment are you know, people don't feel good about themselves. They don't have the confidence. They don't feel like they would make a good impression when they walk in to talk to an employer. And I thought, okay, with what Goodwill has going with the job prep and the job skills compared with what this place is doing in the Tampa area with just doing makeovers, if we combine the two, we could have something really cool that changes people's lives and helps not only us on a local level, but the, the whole area in terms of the workforce. And I just thought, Okay, this is kind of a crazy idea. I think I emailed you on a Saturday morning. And you said, I have a crazy idea. I got this acronym, <laughs> and that's how we came. And, yeah. and I brought it, and Grace came to mind just because I had had dinner with my mom the night before. And my mom is the most inspirational person I know. She's a breast cancer survivor. She worked two jobs to help support her family. Uh, nothing gets her down. She's always positive. She's always in a good mood. And I just thought it would be a great way to honor her. And honestly, people that are looking to get into the workforce better themselves, they show a lot of grace. And I just thought it was a great pairing of that name with that acronym with what you do and trying to pair with the salon. I, I thought it was perfect. And for those who didn't see the, the slide up earlier, grace stands for goodwill, returning ambitious, confident people to employment. And again, it, it was literally serendipitous that everything came together. And what Maverick was talking about, we have nine job connections around the community. So anybody can go into a Goodwill job connection. And what it does is exactly what Maverick said, helps you become more employable. So if you're looking for a job, you're underemployed, um, you, you don't have enough on your resume, you don't even have a resume, you come to Goodwill at our job connection and we have specialists that will sit down with you and help you fill out the application, help you fill out a resume. If you need additional training, you don't speak English, you um, can't read very well, we provide free classes so you are more employable. And pairing when Maverick came to us, now it's been a year, so this is like a year of bragging about this wonderful idea that Maverick started, came to Goodwill and our job connection specialist said, we have many people that we would love to nominate. And then, <laughs> again, through the, the grace of everything, Terry and James from Nuovo, the yes. owners of Nuovo, are good friends of mine. And we approached Nuovo, and they are such a philanthropic company. Again, if anybody's ever looking to do hair, um, go to Nuovo. They care about the community, not just you, but everything about everything about 
us and the community. Yeah. Uh, no. But anyway, so. <laughs> they do. They're good-hearted um, people. And how long have you been with New Ovo? Um, for about seven years now, and I love it. It's nice to have um, two owners that have good hearts so that are also do hair, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, but it, yeah, we love it. We um, love to give a gift of giving back to the community through giving someone confidence and, um, you know, getting a job. So it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience to see them when they come in as to when they leave, you know, because it's nice that they can, uh, they're a little beat down from the world, but then when they leave, they can take on the world. It's nice. And, and you hear the stories because when they first come down, yes. I, I know I tell my hairdresser everything. <laughs> I don't know why. We I sit there and I'm like, I'm going to try and be quiet, but they'll start talking and I'm like, oh, I know, I know. And, you know, like, yes. I, a therapist, I should just pay more <laughs> for the hairdresser. But We're full of secrets. We exactly. don't tell. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and before we forget, I love the fact that we're all wearing black. Yes. But we asked the question why hairdressers wear black and what did you say? Yeah, it's because the client is the main focus um, and the hairdresser is supposed to be in the background. So that's why we wear black. And then, it, you know, depending if they uh, color their hair a certain color or something, we don't want our outfit to clash with whatever color. So that's nice. Yeah. That's interesting. I so my whole wardrobe that. is black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have such beautiful coloring. You can oh, go wear anything. anything. But, so back to um, the Grace Project. Mm -hmm. So you've been the direct contact in helping them, yes. these folks. Mm -hmm. Tell us stories. Oh, it's a beautiful experience. Um, I got a thank you letter one time, and it was so sweet. Um, it just meant the world because you can just see it when they leave. Um, how, like I said, they have the confidence and they're ready to, like, you know, uh, go for an interview, or we just make their day. Because at Nuovo, like one of our main mottos is to make someone's day. So it's really beautiful to uh, see when they come in. You know, uh, like I said, um, it just that we made a difference made a good difference in their life, you know, even if it's just for a moment to make them feel more beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I know we have a sample of one of the folks, and I remember when Diane came into the Job Connection, and you could just tell she, she just needed something, just confidence, yeah. because when you're applying and you're getting rejected, you're taking it personal, and right. that's what she told me. And that made her an ideal candidate. No, no, we're going to give you back the self-esteem. And uh, she's fabulous. And, and you brought her fabulous back to her. So thank you for doing that. No, thank you for giving us the opportunity. You know, we love to make a difference, you know, so. And you guys do, especially with your green products. Yes, we do. We recycle about like 97% of everything that we use also. So it's good. See, yeah, that's fabulous. One of the things that I love about this project and my idea, and you kind of took and run with it and made it come to life uh, in Nuovo, and you guys have really gone above, is it's really the combination of style and substance. You know, Goodwill provides the substance. Uh, you know, I remember walking into one of the job connections for an unrelated uh, appointment I had, and I, unbeknownst, walked into a, a interview session where they were teaching clients, yours, which it's free to be a client. I don't mm -hmm. think a lot of people know that, but this, this, this stuff free. is free. It's happening right here. Mm -hmm. But there was, they were teaching people how to interview properly. And I know that's sometimes one of the biggest concerns people have, or maybe they've told, well, it wasn't a good interview. Well, what did I do wrong? And I walked into the middle of that, and just thinking about that, and then you know, you're hearing you talk about the confidence someone gets, it's a combination of feeling good about yourself and knowing what, you, what you're saying makes sense to a possible employer. And then looking good and having that confidence to back up your, your knowledge. And I think that marriage is what makes this program really unlike any that I, I think, I don't know if anybody else is doing anything really like this so comprehensively between Nuovo and Goodwill. And that's why it's, I'm so proud you know, that this little random idea that you've made come to life and you guys have just taken to the next level. Well, it's so awesome because I think everybody's had those moments where they're you know, counting quarters at the McDonald's to get a hamburger or something and where we can step in and take somebody who's, who's in that moment in their life and just going through a hard time and actually make a difference and give them confidence through something like their, you know, their looks and just making them feel beautiful is amazing. So we, we're thankful for you giving us the opportunity for that. So. Yeah, and we take for granted, like you said, you know, when we go to the hair salon, just, mm -hmm. oh, you know, let me get a touch-up or something. Those who are down on their luck, 
I mean, th this is the last thing they're thinking of. They're, they're worried about, I, I need this job to keep my lights on or yeah. to put food on the table. So any little bit that we can help, and again, for Goodwill, it, we change lives through the power of work. No matter what we do, we always focus mm -hmm. on employment because, uh, I, again, having that stability of a paycheck changes your life. Yeah. But to get that job, to have the stability, you need that self-esteem and that confidence. And, yeah. you know, when we talk about grace, goodwill, returning ambitious, confident people to employment, goodwill has the people coming in. But to give them the, and they're ambitious enough to get a job, that's why they came to us. But you bring in the confidence mm -hmm. and we can complete the entire Grace project, mm -hmm. which I love it. And I, I hope your mom's proud. Yeah. I, she teared up when I first sent her, you sent a press release out, it was about a year ago we started this, and she kind of teared up and um, so it, it meant a lot. Um, but it means more that the people we've helped through, uh, through the program. Because I think one of the things that we often don't even think about is getting a job is great but utilizing your skill sets and utilizing your talents to their full ability is the most important thing and one of the things you said to us before we came on today was you know we really like to try to help the underemployed mm -hmm. and that's something we don't talk a lot about but someone that has a job but feels like they're in a rut they could be doing more but they don't have that confidence to get to the next level or that next job in their advancement and mm -hmm. you guys can help with that and that's really what makes this amazing and, and my mom was always about that so that's another reason why she's a great tie-in on this she was always like you know shoot for the stars and you can do it and and that kind of thing so she um, she is very humbled by it and it, you did get a tear or two out Aww. of her and that doesn't happen often so oh that's awesome but I, I also want to do the spotlight on Maverick besides this grace project um, it was years before that um, I heart media was doing um, it's, we call it Show Your Stripes. Show Your Stripes. And it's an initiative on a corporate level. We have you know, over 700 radio stations around the country. And it's an initiative to uh, get our veterans back to work. Uh, a lot of times veterans have a hard time getting back, once they've been deployed, getting employed. Mm -hmm. And uh, so corporate was doing an initiative with that. And they were having celebrities do public service announcements. Hey, make sure you hire a vet. And it, it's a good initiative. And I thought we could just take it on a local level and really expand it and put a name and a face to it. So uh, Goodwill locally, Goodwill Minnesota has a great veterans program led by an Air Force veteran, yes. CJ Bannister. And uh, I reached out to Veronica with another one of my <laughs> ideas. And I said, hey, we're doing this program. And I went to my boss, Pete Norton, our, our market president at iHeartMedia in Sarasota and Manatee County. And I said, hey, we're doing this show, Your Stripes, through a corporate initiative. There's really not, not a local component. What if we incorporate Goodwill, who's already in contact with a lot of our local veterans, because they come and use the job connection and the mm -hmm. resume building and the interview skills, but the, you're focused with them, you separate them into the veterans program because they have different skill sets and different things. And I thought, what if we took some of the people that are looking for jobs and we gave them a 30 second, 40 second radio commercial to talk about themselves? You know, I'm an Iraq veteran, I've served in the Marines, I'm skilled in X, Y, and Z. And you thought it was a great idea. My boss, Pete, thought it was a great idea, thankfully. And we've been doing that for a few years now. Mm -hmm. I want to say we're over 50 uh, veterans in Sarasota and Manatee County that have been featured on the radio. And um, I don't know that 100% not percent. have gotten a job through the program. Uh, yeah. and I know. It, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, just amazing. And thank you for, uh, for taking my crazy idea on that point and going. Because that's over 50 veterans that may not have gotten an opportunity or may have a better opportunity without this program. So, and we're calling it uh, a deploy from deployment to employment. Mm. That's awesome. I, I, again, we're all about employment. So you being an awesome Goodwill Ambassador and always, every time you think about something that we could be doing just a little bit more or a partnership, I appreciate every time you think of Goodwill. And yes. And I don't think a lot of people realize that you guys have these job connection programs and these things, whether it be for someone that's a veteran or not. And I think it's always great with these programs to let people know because I don't think people realize the full scope of what Goodwill does mm -hmm. uh, in terms of employment locally. Yeah. And it's all free. It, it, it is free. And also, you know, Goodwill is one of the largest employers in our community. And about 65% of the people have a barrier or a disability. 
And so that triple amputee coming back home, who's going to hire him? Goodwill's going to hire him. Or Goodwill's going to find someone to hire him. And that's really important to us. And actually, um, it's been a year since the Grace Project. It's been a year since Goodwill started um, a study called State of Employment and finding out those companies that are hiring veterans or people with disabilities and doing the right thing. So I can't wait. Um, in a few weeks, we're going to be talking about where are they now? The companies that weren't on board are coming on board, and we have good news about this. So it's awesome. Yeah, and it's it's people like you who are are out there saying, "Hey, give these people a chance." And you know, back in uh, 2013, Bob Rosinski, the president and CEO of Goodwill Minnesota, is the one who said, "I want this as a major initiative in my presidency." And um, since then, it, it, we've helped thousands of veterans. And right now, we have a major initiative going on with homeless veterans. And you're like, well, we don't have that many homeless people in uh, Sarasota, Manatee County. Yeah, we do. We do. And they're not on the census because they're not being reached. And um, thankfully, we have a whole wonderful veterans program that Maverick was talking about. And we're actually going out there and finding these individuals and working with 220 organizations around this community to help find housing or transportation, whatever they need, so they can have the stability of a paycheck. I think when it comes to the veterans and even with the Grace Project, I think um, being prideful sometimes is a barrier to people. And I would just encourage anyone that, whether it's yourself or a family or friend uh, that you know that would fit in the veterans uh, program at Goodwill or is unemployed or underemployed, to reach out and, and begin the process with Goodwill and one of your job connections. And, and uh, through the job connection, you can be recommended for the Grace Project and the great uh -huh. work for Nuovo. Mm -hmm. Because uh, without places like Nuovo helping us on this project and other great companies that you work with locally, this stuff doesn't happen. Uh, but it is available to us. And the reason we put this together is we have seen it make a difference. You know, the work you do, uh, is making a difference. Just that little thank you letter you got. It, I mean, it does matter. And hopefully, she's told three or four or more people about her relationship with you and what it did for her because that's kind of the goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, we enjoy giving back to the community, and they try to give back to the community in multiple ways. But we, like we talked about, James and Terry are just they're amazing people. They have good hearts. So, yeah. And that's important. Um, being with a company that has that caring culture. Yes. Um, and it comes through, I, every time I come through the doors, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a whole family. And again, I'm going to throw this out there. <laughs> when you want to um, find a salon that really cares and does good corporate social responsibility, I hope you will consider Nuovo because again, they are fabulous, and, and go to nuovosalongroup.com and find out where yes. the- Yes, we have three different the, locations. Yeah, they're, yes, we, everywhere, yes. they're everywhere. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, the Grace Project is something I think, when you think about what can change someone's lives, giving them the interview skills, giving them the job skills, even if it's you're, you're relatively skilled, but you need to sharpen up some skills. I mean, we know how fast technology is changing, mm -hmm. you know, computer software and stuff like that. You guys help with that. And then the confidence to be able to go and feel better about that process, I just think uh, it's amazing. And I know you're always looking for new partners and new relationships. So if you feel like your business, and I'm doing a commercial for you hey, now. Hey, thank you. But if you feel like your business can do something to help bring either another level to this project or another idea. I know Veronica's always up to crazy <laughs> ideas because I keep giving them to her, uh, and she hasn't said no yet. Yeah. So either they haven't been that crazy or just crazy enough. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I, I, and they're always in line with what we do, and it, it is important. Um, and I'm going to go back to underemployed because this happened recently, too. Someone had two jobs, um, but they were one step away from being homeless. That's how underpaid. Um, but every hour of the day was taken from a job or taking care of the kids and barely any sleep. Came into the job connection and it was just looking at the resume and we have specialists that will look at the resume and say, you know, why don't you take some of these free online classes that we're providing and we can beef up your resume so you are eligible to go for a better job um, and it just so happened the person who came in 
took three of our classes, free, online, worked with our specialist. At the one location they were working, was able to go up an entire step and finish, or not go back to the second job. So she could spend more time with her family. It's simple things like that that we are providing free. So if you know somebody, or if it's you yourself, definitely come to any Goodwill Job Connection. Go on experiencegoodwill.org, find out where our locations are, and, and come on in. And especially if you're a veteran, we have so many additional resources thanks to the Department of Labor um, who is funding a specific grant. So definitely, now knowledge is power. And we just gave you the power uh, of all this knowledge that what Goodwill does. So I hope you will go out and be Goodwill ambassadors <laughs> and share all the information that, again, we just talked about. And then also go to Nuovo. Yes, get your hair done. Uh, <laughs> and you look fabulous. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> I think that's one of the things, though, when you talk about uh, being un unemployed or underemployed, uh, if you are working two jobs and you have the kids, uh, you're taking care of yourself as best you can, but maybe you're not taking as best care of yourself as you can, and that's where that makeover makes the difference. And maybe, unfortunately, we all know that sometimes you judge a book by its cover, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to an interview and that kind of a thing, and it's twofold. It's do you go in with the confidence you need to for that interview? Like, I'm going to get this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill this interview, or, or not? And then what's the perception coming back? So when you're looking as best as you're feeling, that's just the home run to get you to that next level of being employed to the status where you should be. Well, their posture changes. Even their posture, like when they come in, you know, they're all kind of like sluggish. And then by the end of it, they kind of, you know, stick their chest out a little bit more. And it's like they're ready, you know? So it's... It's amazing to see. I, I, I can't put it into words. I wish I could put it into words, but it mm -hmm. is, it's just amazing to see how it changes in that hour that we do their hair. We do colors, we've done keratins, we've done cuts, everything. Every, anything that they come in and their hair needs, uh, then we take care of it. You guys you don't know? limit anything. So whatever no, you think is gonna make them the, mm -hmm. look and feel the best, you're gonna do. Yes. And, well, just face it. I mean, like, when I have a good hair day, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I walk in ready. with an attitude. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. I don't care. I look great. <laughs> if men have their hair, they have a good hair day. Let me just say that. That's the difference between men and women. We got praise for that too, yes. though. Don't worry. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But uh, but anyway, so what else do we want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like we we've been talking about this wonderful Grace project, and um, I just like Maverick said, I encourage companies that you know focus on when um, you're dealing with employment, how could Goodwill help you? Because we already have these skilled people and you know we can help them um, move up the ladder. You might have an employee who's like just phenomenal, but they don't have that skill. Recommend them to come to Goodwill and we can sit down with them to see what they need to get to that next level. Just like um, this lady, Sarah, who came in she, she wanted time with her family, but she needed food on the table. And uh, again, one paycheck away from being homeless, you know, God forbid the car broke down or the air conditioning blew. I mean, there was no extra money. And recently we had SunTrust bank on, and there is a study that, you know, a majority of people don't even have $400 in savings to take care of that special thing. Right. Um, so what Goodwill can do is help bring you in. You know, we do free uh, financial literacy classes um, and we can sit down with you and you're like, well, I don't have finances to, you know, worry about. Yeah, that's when you need to have financial literacy to know what you have, what's coming in, what's going out, and how you can provide for a better future. I would encourage any company, whether you're in marketing at a company locally or whether you're the CEO or the president, uh, a couple of these programs we've talked about, the Grace Project, as well as the, um, you know, from deployment to employment project with Goodwill, both started with just ideas I had. And they both were tweaked a little bit from their original concept. But if you are a local uh, business and you are in any kind of capacity to start a conversation, I would urge you to reach out to Veronica because the Nuovo relationship with Grace started with a personal relationship we had mm -hmm. with, with Terry. And I think one of the things that sometimes we, we forget and we don't take advantage of 
is you may have an opportunity that you can help with the veterans program or maybe you can add something to the grace project that we haven't thought of yet we don't have all the answers we're just trying to make a difference in our little niches here and i would encourage you to reach out to, to veronica if you're like hey i can help with this and make the grace project even better or i can help out with the veterans project and do this uh, or if you have another idea for a program or a project that will help with the basis of return, returning people to work, I would encourage you to reach out. And I don't think enough of us do that. I think we're afraid that our idea is not going to be thought of as a great idea. Mm -hmm. And sometimes an, a, an idea, and I do this in, in, uh, in radio in my day job all the time, is we're not afraid of bad ideas because most of the ideas are bad ideas. So when we have a good idea and we bring in three or four other people, it becomes a great idea. And so that's why I think just don't be afraid to reach out to Veronica if you think you can enhance one of these programs we've talked about today or bring another idea into mm -hmm. the table. Because without your relationship with Terry, Nuovo's not a part of this, and we miss that whole part yeah. of this program. And I totally forgot to mention, so Maverick said that he's a Goodwill ambassador. If you want to be a Goodwill ambassador, check us out, experiencegoodwill.org and find out when our next Lunch and Learn is so you can learn how to become a Goodwill Ambassador. But we have ambassadors that also take these folks and do a dress for success. Um, we, we have a whole section for the veterans and then for others. So definitely if you have the time and you said, well, you know, I don't know how I can help this individual um, get back into the workforce or, you know, just help them nail that job. Well, do you know what? You could be their fashion consultant too. But yeah, exactly. If you have the time, um, definitely, you know, come and volunteer or if you have an idea and they're not crazy because they've been exceptional and look at all the people you've helped with your idea. Well, I would say this. If you are a, an employer that is constantly looking for help or wants to get help to take you to another level, I would reach out to Goodwill because they have so many people in the pipeline, whether it be veterans or whether it be other people. You have people ready to work right now, and you've already done the vetting process for these employers. So I would say that's an opportunity that anybody that's employing people should reach out to you and start a relationship with one of your job connection offices. Yes. Good idea or bad Great idea? Good idea. Yeah. And again, go to experiencegoodwill.org, and we can find out more information. And let's talk about your website one more time. Uh, Nuevo Salon Group, and you can actually book appointments online if you would like. So, yeah. And I like how they send the texts as reminders because yes, I'm always that person trying to remember. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, always start your mornings on 92.1 CTQ. Um, I know I do, and like this morning I wanted to call in, but we won't, we won't go there. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, now I want to talk about another great partnership we do with iHeartMedia, and for the second year in a row, we're doing Young Guns of Country. Jared Neiman, oh, William yeah. Michael Morgan, Runaway June, Jordan Rager, a couple of them are brand new, a couple of them are stars. It's going to be a great show. Okay. Uh, and tickets are free, but you got to go to 921ctq.com to find out where. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.